This is the Etrex, the Garmin Etrex 20, and I'm going to show you how to track back. I know the screen is not so clear because uh, I've experimented to see how my camera picks up the the screen, but this will this will explain. You'll be able to follow along and and uh, figure it out. The reason I'm doing this is because the other day I figured out how to do this, and I thought it was more it was easier. Um, but then today, I, this, this morning or this afternoon, I tried to figure it out and, or tried to do a track back, and I couldn't figure it out. And then this evening, I figured it out again. So I figured I better make a video for myself so I don't forget. I'm sure I won't forget now. But if I do forget in the future, I'll be able to access the video, and I'm sure this will help other people too. So this is the main screen, and these are the icons. You can set these up any way you want, put them in any order you want. So here's the map, here's the compass, track manager, where to, waypoint manager, route planner, active route, mark waypoint, etc., etc. So for track back, you select track manager, select your current track, scroll down to view map, select that, and then on the left side here is the menu button. You select the menu button or press the menu button and it says review track, setup map, restore defaults, select, um, select review track, and then down here, I'm sure you can't see it, it says track back in orange, and all the, every time you have the ability to select something, it's gonna be highlighted in orange, so it says track back, this gives you, it says current track up here, and then distance, area, total ascent, total descent, max elevation, minimum elevation, um, it just gives you your track details. So select track back, and you can't see it very clearly because I'm in the same point. Um, but there's a little green flag that says start point, and then a finish line flag that says end point. So if I had walked like three miles or something, or driven three miles, um, you would see the track here of where I went. Um, and then you, if you do the track back. Um, thing that I just showed you how to do, uh, there'll be little arrows that show you which way to go, which way to track back. And um, that is it. So let me just review. We'll go back here to the main screen. So select Track Manager, select Current Track, scroll down to View Map, then hit the menu button on the left side, hit Review Track, and track back is the only selection you have so you select track back and there's the map and I'm zoomed in as far as you can zoom in which is 20 feet above your current position um, and then you can you can scroll out to I don't even know how far miles miles above your location so that is how you track back on a Garmin Etrex 20